Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today let's talk about the upcoming transit of Ketu. We all know that right now Ketu is transiting from the sign of Scorpio and it's all set to move into Libra. So if you have a natal planet in Libra, that is your Rashi chart, then do watch this video because Ketu is all set to transit over that natal planet. Before we talk about all the planets, please understand this is a general analysis. A lot depends upon in which house this transit is happening, where the natal Venus is placed in your chart and of course your Mahadasha. So please just accept what resonates and leave the rest. So before we talk about each and every planet, let's quickly understand what this Ketu in Libra actually means. Alright, so what is Ketu? Well, Ketu is about surrender. The south node of moon is about liberation, detachment. Some detachments are very necessary. Because of this detachment, we'll be able to look inward. That's why Ketu is about contemplation and introspection. Focusing, meditating, thinking about one thing for a long time and the process of looking inward, focusing on your own emotions, your growth, right, your needs. So this is all about Ketu. Ketu means detachment, liberation, so that you can have some time, you can have an opportunity to look within. What is Libra? Libra is a sign of balance. It's about justice. It represents fair exchange of love, respect, appreciation and also exchange of material things it's about contracts relationships about business so what happens when ketu enters into libra well here ketu creates a boundary boundary between what is self and what is not self because you know rahu is transiting from aries aries means first house your identity you your existence and Ketu transiting from Libra, which represents the seventh house, which is not self, which is the world. So it will help you to heal the old wounds coming through the past relationships, fixing relationships and starting with everything new. And also detaching your identity from the world because um, it might be that you are looking out for validation. You always look out for validation, right? But now it's time to find out what gives you the true sense of harmony. That sense of harmony, healing and happiness, which is not dependent on others. So this is a time for some people, they will just, you know, move away from the existing partnerships or relationships. For some people, it's a new start of a new partnership, a new contract or a new bond where they will experience something new. For some people, it's about just healing their old wounds, which is coming through maybe, you know, how they were being raised during childhood or maybe from the past relationships. So when Ketu transits over a natal planet, it kind of brings introspection with that aspect of life. If Ketu is transiting over Sun, Sun which is in natal Venus, it will push you to think about your preferences. It will push you to, you know, reassess and understand your partnerships. Who is there for you at the right time and who is just using your um, help, using your kindness. So this is how we'll understand how Ketu is impacting each and every planet in your chart. With Ketu transiting over the natal sun in Libra, you need to save your energy and light during this time. Plus use this energy to tap into your inner creative potential. A very good time to learn about self and focus on your inner voice because it will guide you. It will guide you in the current situation. And use your creativity and potential to the fullest. It's not a good time to look at yourself through the eyes of other people. It's okay if you are not getting validation or respect right now because 
This is the time when you have to respect yourself. This is the challenge. You may deal with identity crisis as others may challenge your abilities and decision making power. It's important that you don't chase other people for any kind of validation or approval because it's quite possible that others may expect you to work and behave in a certain way. The major theme for this transit is to identify which bond is helping you to grow and which one is just taking away your happiness and your sense of worth. Also, redirect your energy. There could be a bond, a relationship, a work where you, might, you may reach to a point from where no further progress is happening. So change your direction. A new approach is required. Not a very excellent time with respect to financial growth. So be careful with how you spend your finances. Rather than thinking about what's not working for you right now, think about a new path. Connect to sun, meditate, because um, other people's behavior is stopping you to move ahead. So the more you connect with sun, the more confidence you will gain. With Ketu, over natal moon in Libra, you will be getting a lot of guidance through the divine. This guidance will come to you as intuition. The major theme of this transit is to protect yourself, protect your mind, your mental energy, your emotions, and also work upon attaining clarity in relationships. There is a past which is difficult to forget because Ketu has a lot to do with past. So a past relationship experience is holding you back to experience new things in life, to experience the beauty of this life or to be open towards a new bond, a new friendship. Therefore, learn to protect yourself and clear the past. Otherwise, it would be difficult to be a part of this world. Self-healing is important so that you attract better and healthy partnerships, healthy relationships. There's definitely a fear of commitment or promises which may keep you, you know, away from people. On the other hand, you may find certain connections, certain people who are coming back to your life because they require some kind of emotional assistance. So be very careful while dealing with such people who are coming back to you. And it also indicates a new bond or a new connection where you will have this very strong emotional connection, like almost you can understand each other through telepathy. Also, you will work towards bringing more clarity with respect to your bond you share with your mother. Declutter your mind. You have gathered such a burden which does not support you in any form. Time to say goodbye to such connections or things which no longer help you to grow. Cleansing your mind is the major theme. With Kato's transit over natal Mars in Libra, you are in for a breakthrough, a major breakthrough in life. Even if something is blocking your path or you're unable to find happiness or balance in the current situation, this transit will help you to create a new path. If one path is blocked, don't worry, you are preparing for something different and new. It could be certain bonds, relationships or known people who are keeping you away from the life of your dreams. You want to live in a certain way and they are not letting you do that or you are wasting a lot of energy in order to meet the expectations of other people. So this transit is about diving deeper and looking out for freedom. Okay, Rahu, just opposite, it's in Aries. It's about focusing on your goals. And for a while, don't worry about what others are expecting from you. You have a challenge to constructively use your energy and willpower. This will just change your life. There will be times 
when you will be having full power to achieve what you want and sometimes you may feel absolutely drained. So again, constructive use of your energy, mindful use is required. If you're planning to buy a property or a vehicle, this needs to be done with care and also care is required while driving or dealing with sharp instruments. You have to work on balancing your energy. Whatever anger you have, whatever raw energy you have in your mind, in your heart, this is the time to use it constructively rather than draining yourself. At this time, other people's expectations or their requirements may keep you distracted or too much of energy is being drained due to public dealing or a partnership so that it will leave you a bit lethargic. You will be unable to focus on your goals. So yeah, this is a very powerful transit. All you have to do is to use this energy very wisely and greatly. Also, there can be a disagreement with a sibling or your sibling may require assistance at this time. With Keto's transit over the natal Mercury in Libra, you have to be very careful about what messages you are giving to others. I mean, how you are expressing your needs and aspirations to others. Definitely, it's time to work on clarity in communication. But something is holding you back to speak your truth. You are feeling quite vulnerable. As you feel afraid, it may impact the harmony in the existing connection or a partnership. Major theme of this transit is to let go some small mistakes of your partner, of a very important person in your life. You have to do this for your own good. There is no good done to that person. You have to be a bit forgiving because if you don't do that, you will be hurting yourself. This transit of Ketu over Mercury in Libra, it will constantly push you to, you know, assess your bonds, your friendships with logic. You may end up hurting yourself. Always you will try to measure and calculate each and every move, each and every action. And this is just bringing more hurt to you. You have to silence your mind and connect with the divine source. You know, spirituality will help you a lot during this time. In fact, this transit is giving you a better signal through which you can connect with the divine source in such a beautiful way. Whatever prayer you have, whatever meditation you do, it will be so amazing. It won't be easy to let go certain things, but you need to do it for your peace of mind. And most importantly, this transit of Ketu over Mercury is helping you to clear your thoughts. Thoughts about self, where you are right now, what you have to do next, and how you can flow around any obstacle by just using your intelligence. Avoid self-criticism and just focus on finding solutions. You have the answer. Through intuition, you will get the right messages and the guidance. With transit of Ketu over a planet like Jupiter, which is known to be the Karaka of life, you may dive deeper to make some constructive changes. The quest is to find different ways which can make you feel more confident and happy about your relationships or how you interact with the world. Remember what I said when I was talking about Rahu's transit over Jupiter. One may tend to overestimate things, but here, with Ketu's transit over Jupiter, one may underestimate few things. Underestimating your own ability, underestimating certain relationships might happen. So you have to keep a very optimistic attitude. During this time, you may undergo certain moments 
but there will be deja vu like experiences like you will meet a new person and you instantly feel oh i know this person i have met this person earlier okay i have experienced this incident previously as well so there are certain past memories or people coming back into this particular transit a certain act of kindness done in the past journey not about this journey is coming back to you in the form of help guidance someone will help you to rise higher with respect to wealth you may witness some obstruction no it's not a crisis but the flow of money is not smooth especially if venus is not well placed then it will be a difficulty if venus is well placed there won't be any major issue ketu is about construction and jupiter is about expansion so even if you witness a slight challenge or difficulty do not lose your heart always look at the bigger picture the bigger change happening in your journey notice the current situation the people around you is someone taking away your life force draining you making you feel lethargic literally wasting your life force in very unnecessary issues trivial issues so if you find draining partnerships you need to detach this is a very amazing transit at one point it may help you to heal something about your life it could be your health it could be a partnership but if you feel drained then this is not the time to fix it it's time to move ahead and first heal yourself and then return back to this same issue also you might be concerned about your children's welfare at this time their health and education some people who are right now in the process of learning they are acquiring higher education for them also this transit can be a bit difficult it's time to you know connect the dots whatever you are learning from um the past few years connect to that knowledge connect to that wisdom it might help you to solve your current situation with ketu's transit over natal venus in libra it's a wonderful time to bring out the best in you already you have natal venus in libra which means you carry great potential when it comes to art creativity music drama or any work which requires negotiation or which requires the ability to bring more beauty and balance you are very good at it so ketu will help you to tap into those talents and use them for the future the major theme of this transit is to heal your hurt and the old wounds no no asset no luxury might impress you at this time as you seek true happiness and if your true happiness is in a relationship then you need to reassess everything in life you have to let go of certain relationships you have to let go of a certain contract in this transit for some people this might be very true and you be able to make space for more love more opportunities and healthy relationships some people uh maybe you know may come into contact with a very old friend a past partnership someone from the past is coming back so proceed with caution you have to deal with someone with whom there are certain wounds move away from such people or such works which is not giving you fair justice and with this transit you're trying to start with a new work or a new source of income may happen at this time take out some time for yourself be alone for a while practice solitude and this will bring more clarity and answers regarding your work regarding your finances whatever you want to heal 
whether it's your internal healing or you want to heal relationship. Physical and emotional healing both will happen. With Ketu's transit over natal Saturn in Libra, it's time to ground yourself. Look at your life in great detail and focus on what makes you feel happy and balanced, not what makes other people happy, what makes you happy. And also look at what all things are destabilizing you. Work on those issues. It could also bring a major career change for some people, maybe change in the job position, maybe working in a new field, end and beginning of a new phase with respect to career may happen. And not just with respect to career or source of income, but also you are entering into a new phase of partnerships. You will detach yourself from such people or bonds who no longer help you to feel happy. Where you feel there is lack of justice. You are the one who is more concerned. You are fulfilling your responsibilities, but nothing is happening from the other side. So there is some kind of imbalance with respect to responsibilities, whether it's your family life, whether it's your relationships, Maybe it could be your work front. So you are going to change your role. You're going to change your um, path now. If you want to be in your full strength, it's important to stand up for yourself. Hold firm to what you know and what you have at the current moment. Use that knowledge. Use that asset, that resource to the fullest. Things can be difficult for people who are right now in a separation phase or they're dealing with a divorce. For some people, it could be also a new initiation, healing the existing bonds, or there is a new connection coming into life. Definitely in this new connection also, there is a karmic debt where one has to work towards fair exchange of resources, exchange of promises, or there should be um, exchange of responsibilities. So this is a time to stay put, okay, and replenish your resources. By the term resources, I mean your inner resources, your patience your hardworking ability, your vision, your ability to achieve whatever you want, your goals. So it's time to recharge yourself. And also I do see you are trying to like cross a bridge. You are moving from one skill to another because that skill might appear to be very promising. So that kind of a change is happening. Whenever Rahu transits over natal Ketu or Ketu transits over natal Rahu, it's quite a life-changing and challenging time period. So already you have Rahu in Libra. You are born to focus on achieving harmony and balance with respect to all aspects of life. Are you in harmony? Do you feel aligned? with the world or not? That is the question. So you have to strive for balance, not just uh, the way you live with respect to how you live in this world, but also related to your partnerships. Relationships will always be a challenge for you. So now Ketu has a lot to do with surrender. So it's transit over Rahu in Libra. You need to release the need to control each and every relationship in life. The need to be always right. You have a tendency to constantly weigh each and every aspect of your relationship. You constantly look at the world like, uh, you know, you're calculating everything. You're trying to assess everything. Sometimes just let it go and enjoy the existing bond with the people without making any judgment. 
in order to stay happy everything need not to be perfect this is the lesson of this transit okay you have to find happiness within yourself you might have been overshadowed in family bonds or important relationships it's time to see your truth see things with your own vision what you need to do right now where you stand do i need to be a part of this connection to stay validated you have to find your own truth that's why ketu is all about surrender deep introspection what you truly want in life to be happy to make other people happy how to be happy with your connections this is the time when you may come across a karmic bond it could be a friendship it could be a love connection or is just that the past connections are coming back into your life there is one bond which needs a lot of healing you have to heal that connection to move forward otherwise it will be difficult to forget it so it's time to heal your existing connections and move ahead and there is a very strong possibility of reconnection with the loved one very someone very important with ketu's transit over the natal ketu in libra this will be a life changing experience as you are all ready to discover a treasure buried deep within you well you always had this treasure but the people around you were suppressing that because you were constantly looking towards other people for some kind of validation the need to be validated from loved ones have stopped you to discover your own potential you will be looking at life in a very new way some deep wounds given by people will heal in this time because ketu's transit is helping you to find a solution and it's about how you can be happy within your skin within your space how you don't have to surrender to other people's drama to attain love so you will discover a very amazing creative potential within you which is not only helping you to derive happiness but it might be also a new way to earn wealth you may witness some chaos with respect to your relationships or partnership because this is how you will be aware of a certain truth a truth about yourself a very great trait about yourself there are times when you have to speak your truth because your silence might be misunderstood by others examine your life and see if there is anything which needs to be renewed or removed because this very thing is stopping you to find your inner harmony and healing definitely this transit is dedicated to ending of one connection and starting with a new connection or simply there is a major cycle starting with this transit this cycle is about proving your worth and for that first you need to do a very deep soul work do not try to just go back and look out for uh, more assistance from such people who are not giving you enough value if you want to go back just go there and heal what has been causing you so much of unhappiness